All right, let's write a spam classifier using naive Bayes. You're gonna be surprised how easy this is. In fact, most of the work ends up just being reading all the input data that we're gonna train on and, and actually parsing that data in. The actual spam classification bit, the machine learning bit, is actually just a few lines of code. So that's usually how it works out. You know, actually reading in and massaging and cleaning up your data is usually most of the work when you're doing data science. So get used to the idea. Go ahead and open up the Naive Bayes IPython notebook if you'd like to follow along with me. And like I said, most of the work is just in, in reading in the data. So what I have here in your course materials is a couple of different directories filled with emails. And one is a bunch of emails that I already know are spam that have been classified ahead of time. And another directory full of emails that are ham, that are not spam. And I'm gonna use this information to train my model and actually test it out. So the first thing I have to do is read all those emails in somehow. And we're gonna, again, use pandas to make this a little bit easier. So again, pandas is a useful tool for handling tabular data. And let's, uh, after we import all the different packages that we're gonna use within our example here, that includes the OS library, the IO library, NumPy, pandas, and count vectorizer and multinomial NB from scikit-learn. And we'll go through all that as we encounter them. Let's skip past these function definitions from now and go down to the first thing that our code actually does and that's to create a pandas data frame object. And we're gonna construct this from a dictionary that initially contains a li empty list for messages and an empty list of class. So this syntax is saying, I want a data frame that has two columns, one that contains the message, the actual text of each email, and one that contains the class of each email, that is whether it's spam or ham, okay? So basically this one line is saying, I wanna create a little database of emails and this database has two columns. It has the actual text of the email and it has whether it's spam or not, okay? Now I need to put something in that database, into that data frame in Python syntax. So I'm gonna call these two methods to actually throw in all of my spam emails from my spam folder and all of my ham emails from my ham folder. And if you are playing along here, make sure you modify this path to match wherever you installed the course materials for this course, okay? And you know, again, if you're on Mac or Linux, those backs, pay attention to backslashes and forward slashes and all that stuff. In this case, it doesn't matter, but you won't have a drive letter, for example, if you're not on Windows. So just make sure those paths are actually pointing to where your spam and ham folders are for this example. So what does this do? Data frame from directory is a function I wrote up here. Basically, it says I have a path to a directory, and I know it's a given classification, spam or ham. And what I'm gonna do is call this read files function that I also wrote that will iterate through every single file in a directory. And I don't wanna go into too much detail on how this works, but basically it's using the os.walk function to find all of the files in a directory, builds up the full path name for each individual file in that directory, and then it reads it in. And while it's reading it in, it actually skips the header for each email and just goes straight to the text. And it does that by looking for the first blank line here it knows that everything after the first empty line is actually the message body, and everything in front of that first empty line is just a bunch of header information that I don't actually want to train my spam classifier on. So it gives me back both the full path to each file and the body of the message. Okay, so that's how I read in all of my data, and that is the majority of the code. So what I have at the end of the day here is a data frame object, basically a database with two columns that contains body message bodies and whether it's spam or not. And we can go ahead and run that. And we can use the head command from the data frame to actually preview what this looks like. So the first few entries in our data frame look like this for each path to a given file full of emails. We have a classification and we have the message body, okay? All right, now for the fun part. So, we're gonna use the multinomial NB function from scikit-learn to actually perform naive Bayes on this data that we have. And what it expects to get is two things. So once we build a multi multinomial naive Bayes classifier, it needs two inputs. It needs the actual data that we're training on and the targets for each thing. So what that is, is basically a list of all the words in each email, okay? And the number of times that word occurs. So that's what this count vectorizer thing does. It will, this syntax means take the message column from my data frame and take all the values from it. And I'm gonna call vectorizer.fit transform. What that does is it basically tokenizes or converts all the individual words seen in my data into numbers, into values. 
and it will then count up how many times each word occurs. So this is a more compact way of representing how many times each word occurs in an email. Instead of actually preserving the words themselves, I'm representing those, those words as different values in a sparse matrix, okay? Which is basically saying that I'm treating each word as a number, as a numerical index into an array. So what that does is it's just, in plain English, it splits each message up into a list of words that are in it and how many times each word occurs. So we're calling that counts. It's basically that information of how many times each word occurs in each individual message. And then targets is the actual classification data for each email that I've encountered. And I can call classifier.fit using my multinomial NB function to actually create a model using Naive Bayes that will predict whether new emails are spam or not based on the information I gave it. So let's go ahead and run that. Runs pretty quickly. So let's try it out. I'm gonna use a couple of examples here. Let's try a message body that just says, free Viagra now, probably pretty clearly spam, and a more innocent message that just says, hi Bob, how about a game of golf tomorrow? So we're gonna pass that in. First thing we need to do is convert these messages into the same format that I trained my model on. So I'm gonna use that same vectorizer that I created when creating the model to convert each message into a list of words and their frequencies where the words are represented by positions in an array. And then once I've done that transformation, I can actually use the predict function on my classifier on that array of examples that have transformed into you know, lists of words and see what we come up with. And sure enough, it works. So given this array of two input messages, free Viagra now and hi Bob, it's telling me that the first result came back as spam and the second result came back as ham, which is what I would expect. So that's pretty cool. So there you have it. Now we have a pretty small data set here. So, you know, you could try running some different emails through it if you want and see if you get different results, but try to apply, if you don't want to challenge yourself, try to apply and train test to this example. So the real measure of whether or not my spam classifier is good or not is not just intuitively whether it can figure out that free Viagra now is, a, is spam. You want to measure that quantitatively. So if you want a little bit of a challenge, go ahead and try to uh, split this data up into a training set and a test data set. And you can actually look up online how pandas can split data up into train tests and, and testing sets pretty easily for you. Or you can do it by hand, whatever works for you. And see if you can actually apply your multinomial NB classifier to a test data set and measure its performance. So if you want a little bit of an exercise, a little bit of a challenge, go ahead and give that a try. How cool is that? We just wrote our own spam classifier just using a few lines of code in Python. It's pretty easy using scikit-learn and Python. That's naive Bayes in action. And you can actually go and classify some spam or ham messages now that you have that under your belt. Pretty cool stuff. Let's talk about clustering next.